So in this video, I'm going to be talking about chord shapes within my drop D tuning. Okay, what a drop D tuning is, is moving my sixth string from an E note, drop it down a whole step to a D note. Now if we don't have a tuner, we can also kind of use our fourth string, which is a D note, and try to match our sixth string to our fourth string. What the basic concept of a lot of these chords are, is going to be moving anything that's open on the sixth string to the second fret, or anything that's fretted on the sixth string, we move up a whole step. So first, it's pretty easy, it's just the D chord. Same, my fingers are all in the same place, only now I can strum all six of the strings and get a D chord. D minor, same thing, same formation. Just like that. Now, for my D over F sharp chord, I'm gonna be changing up my D formation a little bit. Here's my first finger barred on the bottom three strings on the second fret using my first finger. Now I'm using my second finger to go to the third fret on the second string for my new D chord. That frees up my third finger to go up to the fourth fret. I'm also muting that fifth string with my third finger. D over F sharp. Now a D minor over F doing something similar. Here's my D minor chord, changing up my formation just a little bit. Here's my pinky. Now replacing my third finger on the second string, third fret. That frees up my fourth or my third finger to go to the third fret on the sixth string. Here's my D minor over F. Next we have some E chords. So let's go over E major first. Just like our E chord, only well now since our sixth string is an is a D note, we have to go to the second fret on the sixth string and move our other fingers up. So it's my second finger on the second fret, sixth string, third finger on the second fret, fifth string, pinky on the fourth fret, fourth string, second fret, my first finger on the first fret, third string. Now for an E minor, all I have to do is just take off my first finger. Same chord. Same fingerings everywhere else. For an E minor 7, what to do now is just take off my pinky. Okay, so now it's just my second finger on the sixth string, second fret, and then my third finger on the second fret, fifth string. E7 is going to be my first finger on the third fret, third string, or the first fret, third string. Now for some G chords. Now, since our G chord, our root notes typically on the third fret, we just have to move it up to the fifth fret. So for a G major chord, I'm gonna go with my first finger on the first string, third fret, and then my third finger on the fifth fret, sixth string, and the third finger is also muting that fifth string. There's a G major chord. Now a G5 chord, I'm actually going to be barring my first finger on both the first and second string. That gives me a G5 chord, G minor chord, bar my first finger on the bottom three strings, first, second, third, and the third fret, G minor chord. Now for our bar chords, our six string bar chords, we can do something similar, all right? If our normal bar chords like this, we can move our first finger up two frets, okay? So it's gonna change up our fingerings a little bit. Use A as my example. Here we wanna think about the root note on the first string now, okay? Or you can think about it two frets up from where it normally is. So my first string, my first finger is gonna be barred on the fifth fret, bottom two strings. My second finger is gonna go on the sixth fret, third string, or one fret above my first fingers. My pinky is gonna go two frets above my first finger on the fourth string. Now I'm gonna be going, putting my third finger on the same fret as my pinky's on. My third finger is also muting that fifth string. It's like a major bar chord shape. We can move that anywhere. Now for my minor, all I have to do is just take off my second finger and bar my first finger on the bottom three strings. Finally, we have a power chord, okay? What we're doing here is just, you can use any finger. Notice that my dots on this one don't have any fingers in there. Finger numbers. You can use any of them. The only thing is that you only want to keep it to the sixth, fifth, and fourth string. That's a movable shape just like our bar chords. I said you can use any fingers there. 
All right, so there we go. There are some chord shapes in our drop D tuning. Oh, and one more thing. Every other chord is basically gonna be exactly the same. So a C chord can still be our C chord that we're used to. Just anything that involves a six string is gonna have to change just a little bit. All right, thank you.